Hello everybody, welcome back for another episode of the Super Smash Bros. Melee Credit Quest. Last time we played as uh, Mr. Bowser, this time we're going to be playing as Roy, the Spice Boy, according to Daniel. He is the fire that lights my series, no pun intended. Or was it intended? I don't know. Anyway, anyway, now we're fighting Bowser on Battlefield, which is entirely appropriate. Anyway, um... When I get to the Marth episode, I'm going to be playing it on hard. Uh, but I'm not going to make that mistake with Roy, because Roy... Although I do like him, he's kind of eh in this game. I know he gets a lot of shit by the competitive community, but I still like him. Although admittedly sour spotting 90% of your moves gets fucking annoying. Get over here, Kirby. Fuck you. Oh, god damn it. Well, actually, now he'll just sit there like a sitting duck doing the same thing. Should call it a Gordon duck. <laughs> oh my god. Now is not the time for Kitchen Nightmares references. Seriously. Wow, I love how me and the character I've already played as before beat it. Anyway, Roy has one of the weirdest break the target levels. Literally, it's just a couple platforms and some flippers. That's it. That's, that's the entirety of his break the targets level. He was probably added in so last minute into development that, like... They couldn't even design a good break the target stage for him. Anyway, I've actually beaten this level in, like... 15 seconds, or somewhere somewhere in between 10 to 15 seconds I've been able to beat this stage. Or that, uh, break the targets level. I don't know, I love break the targets. I wish, I wish for Smash Switch that they bring break the targets back to its roots, because it's such a fun mode. And it's, and it's fun to watch, uh, speedruns of. Because, like, apart from just competitive melee... Probably break the target speed runs are like the second second highest thing you see out of M melee's meta. Anyway, welcome back to. Never mind though. Let's leave this level. I don't. I didn't want to play this level. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I just made Luigi nair to death. All right, Paula. Are you gonna? Are you gonna be? No. Okay, we're not gonna get Paula today. And we're not gonna get the Kirby's today. And we're not gonna get the Fyruses today. Shit. Failure. Okay. All right. Never mind. Roy is a lonely boy. I mean, that's why he kept getting sh uh, kept getting screwed for so long. I mean, cause think about it. In Fire Emblem, he's like recognized. Recognized what? <laughs> He's recognized as one of the worst lords in the entire Fire Emblem series. He's kind of bad in this game because a lot of his moves just either do no damage or they whiff. Or they whiff completely. And, okay, I'm glass team Pichu because these guys will just die in an instant. But anyway, um... That... Then, in Fire Emblem Awakening, I think he just showed up as, like, an event-slash-DLC character with, like, no relevancy to the story. I don't know, it had to be. Damn it. And then, in Smash 4, he was added in through DLC and, and was lumped in with Lucas and Ryu as just sort of an afterthought. And then, in... And then that's it. That That's all Nintendo's done with him. To my recollection, he might be in Fire Emblem Warriors and also the gosh dang Fire Emblem Heroes, if I'm remembering it right, the mobile app. But even then, he's there just as a liability because, you know, otherwise where would you get your Binding Blade coverage, you know? So, there you go. There's all the argument in the world against Roy being anything. And despite all that, I still like him. 
His awakening design is actually really good. And yeah, don't, don't, don't you dare break, I, if you want to bring up Project M, okay, just know that I'm going to be a little bit snippy with you in the comments. <laughs> just saying. I'll be kind of salty. How long was Fox's playthrough again? <laughs> Alright. Oh, you didn't even bother with a cover. Okay. Thank you, Ness. Thank you for at least being somewhat less of a nuisance. <laughs> Alright, Master Hand, let's go. All right, hand boy, let's go. Let's freaking go. Fuck. God. Wow, I did a lot of damage. Resisting the urge to say really fucking dead me. It's not. Is it that dead? I'm pretty sure flex tape is already a dead meme at this point. Is it? Oh, fuck. Alright. Can we get a flawless victory? Probably not. Oh, did I show you moves at width? I think I did. Ooh, double laser time. Wow, I wanted a counter just to be cool and finish off Master Hand, but instead I had to compromise my flawless victory. Whatever. I saw Master Hand click through the levels, so I'm fine. Nope. Fuck. Alright. Stop trying to grab me, you piece of shit hand! There we go. That's what I was trying to do to Master Hand, but then I fucked it up. Oh, fuck. Oh, god damn it, Matt. Crazy Hand, you fucking piece of shit. Damn it! The Ice Poke is almost guaranteed an instant kill. Great. I just, I took one of my better runs of Classic Mode and just turned it into my worst runs for absolutely no goddamn reason. I hate when I fuck up like that. Alright. I'm gonna finish off strong. Alright, well, this will kill him. Counter the rocket hand. Let's go. He just went, and I'm like, not today, bitch. And it sliced his fingertips off. Take that in his thumbs up looking ass. The stock icon's a thumbs up. Wow, I didn't even get any de debuffs. I just... They liked me. They liked my performance. It wasn't very good, but they liked it. Anyway, there you go. There's Roy's trophy. You already saw it in the thumbnail. Who really cares? Anyway, Marth... When I get to Marth, uh, it'll be on hard difficulty, because I do play Marth a lot. But anyway, that is Roy. Uh, shortest episode so far? Maybe. I don't know. I don't want to go on any tangents. Anyway, I uh, don't have a next episode, so I'll see you all next time.